Hey, you found some great oxalis with disease symptoms in the leaves. So why don't you pick a couple of those pieces, those leaves, take the whole thing, okay? Great. Okay. So you can see the disease tissue. There's some tan dead necrotic tissue and uh, maroon outline. You want to take tissue right from that edge where the maroon and the green meet because the pathogen will probably still be in the green tissue, but in the really dead tissue it might already be uh, infected with some secondary invaders. Hey Taylor, can you squirt some 70% alcohol on that surface and then wipe it with a paper towel to make it nice and clean? So you've got a good clean place to work. That looks super. Okay, so now you can set up your workspace with the other things that you have there. An alcohol lamp, you can also use a candle or even just a uh, match or a lighter, great. And then you've got a sharpie for being able to write on what you need to write and the scissors that you'll need for cutting up pieces of leaves and some forceps for handling things and maybe for later on a probe for weight. So now you're going to take two beakers and in one of them you're going to fill most of the way up with 10% commercial bleach and the other one you're going to fill up with 70% ethanol. And we're going to use those solutions to uh, surface sterilize the leaves. That one is 10% bleach and the other one is 70% ethyl alcohol. Okay, so now you're going to use the scissors. They don't have to be sterile. But you're going to cut small pieces from the edge of each of those tissues that are diseased and the pieces should be about two millimeters on a side more or less. And at this point you don't need to be sterile because you're going to be surface sterilizing those pieces before putting them on the medium to isolate. Great. So you can just put that down on the on the tray and cut another couple of pieces. Okay, Taylor, so now pick up all those pieces that you cut and stick them inside a little tea strainer. You can use your fingers or you can use forceps, either way is going to work. And we're going to use that to be able to surface sterilize the leaves. And we surface sterilize the leaves using two solutions. The first is the 70% ethanol, and then that is for a minute, and then it's 10% bleach for a minute and then we can put them onto agar growth medium to grow out. Great. So now you can put the forceps in the bleach so that they get started sterilizing. We want good sterile forceps. And we'll put the uh, tea strainer in the alcohol. And why don't you give it a, like a little swirl around to make sure that it gets nice and um, covered. And we'll time that for a minute. Okay, that's a minute. 
So now just take out the tea strainer and let all the alcohol drip off and now transfer it over to the bleach and you can just leave the forceps right in the bleach and we'll uh, swirl that around and now leave it sit there for another minute. Okay, so that was a minute. Now take that and just set the tea strainer on a paper towel. The leaf pieces are all on the inside, so they're still well protected. Now we'll get set up for transferring those leaf pieces onto agar growth medium. Okay, Taylor. Uh, now we've got a petri plate with malt extract agar in it. And the first thing is to label the plate. And so when you pick it up and label, and you want to label on the bottom of the plate and around the outside so that we're always able to see what's in it. Okay, so now grab the forceps and pull them out and shake off the liquid, but don't touch them to the tip of the beaker at all. So they're nice, nice and sterile. And now you can take individual pieces of those leaves out of the tea strainer and very carefully place them into the petri plate. And you can do about four pieces on a petri plate, placing them sort of at the edges of the plate um, at say 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock on the plate, one at a time, and you want to just barely open the lid, keep the, keep the lid close to the plate so that it doesn't get contaminated, okay, and grab another one, and this time try to keep the lid closer to the plate. Got another one there. That's great. Perfect. The air is full of fungi and bacteria, so you want to minimize the amount of air exposure that the plate has. So you always want to keep the lid pretty close to the surface. That's great. And now we've got three done. And Awesome. And now you can uh, re-sterilize the forceps. So now we're going to parafilm the plate to keep it moist and also to keep it uh, sterile. So the first thing to do is cut a strip of the parafilm that is about as wide as the plate is thick. Okay. Cut across. Okay. And now we take that parafilm and peel off the paper backing and put it against the edge of the plate and hold it with your fingers and gently pull it and taut and lay it down around the edge of the plate like that. Spin it all the way across and It'll seal. Sometimes it breaks a little bit like that, and you can just stick it back on and finish off the, the strip. And now you can see the whole edge of the plate is sealed with the parafilm, and that keeps the moisture in, and it also keeps things like mites um, and other things from crawling in. Okay, so now you've got some fungi a few days later, maybe a week later, that have grown out of those leaf pieces, and you want to transfer them into sterile culture. So the first thing to do is set up a place that you've got some kind of a flame. We have an alcohol lamp here. At home you can use a candle or even just a lighter. So why don't you light our alcohol lamp. There you go. And then you can surface sterilize or ser sterilize a probe or a needle that you're going to use by holding it in the flame. Don't have to do it for very long, that's plenty. 
okay? And now you just want to make sure that it doesn't touch anything now that it's sterile. So now go into the plate where your fungi are growing out of those little leaf pieces and cut a little X or, or a little box around where the fungi is growing next to the leaf piece with your probe and then pick it up with your probe. So uh, first thing you have to take, take the parafilm off. Okay. And then go in and cut a little square next to where the fungi are growing, right into the meaty auger, and then lift it up with your sterile probe. Great job keeping the lid very close. And now, uh, great, you've got the auger with some fungi on it. And now on a clean petri plate, you're going to put it right in the middle. And the easiest way is to like cut down a little bit into the auger with that inoculum and close it back up. And now you hopefully will have a clean culture that grows out of it. So the next step would be to both label that plate with what it is and the date and the origin of it and then to parafilm it as well.